you on how to make a scatter plot for your trig project. Uh, you're going to go to desmos.com slash calculator. Um, you're going to want to be able to save your stuff. So first thing you should do is click sign in. I would recommend just clicking sign in with your Google account and then use your school isd271.org uh, login and then you will be uh, logged in. Um, once you are logged in, uh, you're going to come over to the left side here and click add item and you're going to add a table and then it's just adding in your x and y values so I'll sort of make up some data here maybe on temperature so maybe I'm doing some place where on day 15 the uh, average high is 65, day 45 it's up to 68, maybe day 70 it's 71 and then day 90, it's 76. And you, of course, would have more, more data than this. Um, you can fiddle around with the settings here. You can turn it on or off. Uh, you can go to uh, edit list, and you can change the color of the data. You can connect them. Uh, we don't want to connect them. We just want to leave it, leave it with dots. Uh, you'll notice I'm not seeing anything over here, and that's because of the window. Uh, there are two ways you can you can change the window. You can just go to the zoom option and uh, zoom out until you start seeing some of the data points. Uh, there they are. Uh, and you can uh, drag. You can also just go up here to graph settings and change what X values are showing and what Y values are showing directly, sort of like setting the window on your calculator. Um, once you have uh, that all set, uh, you just come up here. Um, you have to be logged in, but you'll come up here, uh, click up there, type a title for it, and save it, and you should be all set. Thanks.